Assalamualaikum and hi everyone So for this video, we are going to learn probability Lecture 2 of 3 part 1 Learning outcomes At the end of this topic You should be able to use the formula P E union B equal to P A plus P B minus P E intersect B Okay, for B I, You need to know how to identify The concept of mutually exclusive events and apply probability of A union B equal to P A plus P B and C use the complement formula of probability which is P A complement equal to 1 minus probability of A so we will look at the intersection of events so let A and B be two events defined in a sample space So the intersection of A and B denoted by A intersect B represent the collection of all outcomes that are common to both A and B. So in the middle here, we call it as A intersect B. Okay, the union of two events. The union of A and B denoted by A union B is the events Consisting of all sample points that are either in A or in B or in both A and B. So, semua yang berlore ini adalah A union B. So, if we want to find the probability of A union B, we will took probability of A plus probability of B minus the intersection of A and B. Okay, next mutually exclusive events. When two events have no sample point in common, they are called mutually exclusive event. So since neither event A nor event B can occur simultaneously and are mutually exclusive, we can say that A intersect B is zero. So dia tak ada intersection lah. Jadi, bila kita lukis Venn diagram, dia akan separate like this. Okay, the additional probability rules for two mutually exclusive events is P A union B equal to probability of A plus probability of B. Okay, mutually exclusive event. So, for example, when you rolling a dice, so bila kita baring dadu, Okay, let A be the event that getting uh, even number. And B is the event that getting odd number. So, we can see from this Venn diagram, event A and event B. So, A is 2, 4, 6 and B is 1, 3, 5. So, therefore, A intercept B is equal to empty set. This is empty set. It cannot happen at the same time So bila kita baling dadu Kita sama ada akan dapat even number Ataupun odd number saja. Kita tak ada yang tengah-tengah okay, So A and B are mutually exclusive event Because probability of A intersect B is equal to 0 okay, For not mutually exclusive events So dia akan ada intersection lah So if A and B are two events from an experiment with the condition that P A not equal to 0 So probability of A tak boleh jadi kosong And probability of B cannot be equal to 0 as well Then the additional probability rule is P A union B is equal to P A plus P B minus P A intercept B Okay probability of the complement So derive the formula so we use Venn diagram to solve complementary probability. So for the first one, we have probability of A intercept B bar. Maksudnya A intercept selain daripada B. So this is A and this is event B. So P A intercept B is this one, kawasan yang berlorek. Jadi how to find the probability? So we will take the probability of A minus the probability of intersection A and B so you can get this one for the second part we have to 
event A and B. So probability of A bar intersect intersect with B. So selain daripada A intersect with B. So kita akan ada this part. Okay. So to find the probability untuk kawasan yang berlorek ni kita akan ambil PA minus PA intercept B. So this is the formula. And for the third one, probability of A bar intercept B bar. So maksudnya probability selain daripada A dan B. So dekat luar ni ha, dia tak boleh termasuk E. Ha, this one A B. Okay, to find this probability kawasan berlorek ni, kita akan ambil 1 which is the total probability minus probability of A union B. Okay, A union B adalah yang dekat tengah ni. So, you akan dapat ni sebagai dia punya formula. Okay, apply additional rule in probability. So, joint probability is the probability of event A occurring at the same time event B occurs. Okay, notation for joint probability takes the form P A intercept B. So, this is what we call the joint probability and read as the joint probability of A and B. Okay, marginal probability is a set of joint probability. Okay, the marginal probability of event A is the same as the simple probability because we look at the probability of A across all condition of B. So now we will look at the table for further understanding. Okay, so from this table, the first one, we can see joint probability and marginal probability. Okay, uh, the first part, we have scholarship, loan, other, and then marginal probability. And we have joint probability here. So dekat sini, scholarship and male. You can say that this is the probability of S intercept M. So, kita define S ni scholarship as S, L as loan and other as O lah. So, this one M then juga F. So, this one yang dekat middle ni kita panggil joint probability. And the second one adalah probability of L uh, intercept L uh, M. Okay. And this one adalah probability of S and F. And so on lah. Okay. So, dekat hujung ni adalah dia kata the set marginal probability is the set of all joint probability. So, kita tambahkan uh, this row dan awak akan dapat marginal probability kat bahagian sini. Okay. So, this is the marginal probability. Okay. Sometimes the information is also given in the table form. So, bila marginal probability, the total probability is 1. So, kadang-kadang dia tak tulis uh, dalam table ni dalam bentuk uh, dalam bentuk probability. Dia mungkin tulis dalam bentuk numbers. N is numbers. So, the value of probability is defined based on the information A, B, C, D uh, for events that can be written in the table below. So, might be your table dia mungkin akan tulis number which is 18, katakan 18, 10, 2, 4, depends. So, here kita tak panggil dia join probability lah sebab dia letak numbers. Okay, and then the last hujung sekali ni dia punya number mesti the total of the sample space. Okay, so that's all untuk this uh, video for part 1. We will continue for the next video. Thank you for listening.